here's some good news to do with drug testing for a change. Both Deontay Wilder and challenger Chris Ariola have tested clean ahead of their WBC heavyweight world title clash this Saturday. They are both partaking in the WBC slash VADA, that's the Voluntary Anti-Doping Agency clean boxing program where where they are undergoing Olympic style random drug testing. Both of them clean. Now, very few people would suspect Chris Ariola of taking performance enhancing drugs. Drugs, yes, he's been caught for drugs before, but he's been caught for weed. <laughs> it's no secret. Chris Ariola's even admitted on camera that he smokes weed outside a training camp. And weed does take a little while to get out of your system. Uh, so weed is not known to be a performance enhancing drug, but it does have, it reputedly it has some healing properties. So some fighters may take it after they've had a fight in order to heal their bodies. Or uh, I've read somewhere that, uh, and Dwyer was actually talking about this in, his video about this fight, I've, I've actually read this as well, that uh, marijuana can be effective treatment for concussions. I don't know how true that is, but this is what I've read. So yeah, <laughs> nobody was ever going to suspect Chris Ariola of taking anything in terms of performance enhancers, although Erkin Tepper is a guy who is not body beautiful at all, and he was on all types of drugs. So you can't always go by somebody's physique. Sometimes a guy can have an incredible Mr. Universe physique and he's clean. And other times you get a guy who is built like a sack of potatoes, like Erkin Tepper, and he's actually on something. But those tend to be the exception rather than the rule. I think it's fair to say. Anyway, in this case, both Deontay Wilder, who is kind of a sculpted fighter, and Chris Ariola have tested clean. So... It's good to see we're gonna see you know we're gonna have a fair level playing field in terms of uh you know the, the the type of nutrition these guys are allowed to put into their bodies ahead of this fight on Saturday. Some people think Chris Ariola actually has an outside chance of beating Deontay Wilder. He's certainly a puncher, he's certainly very tough. He'll come and give it a go. But the bookmakers, I believe, have got Chris Ariola as wide as a 15 to 1 underdog. That's pretty damn long odds. <laughs> Just to put it in perspective, Kel Brook is only a 4 to a 4 or 5 to 1 underdog against Gennady Golovkin. So the bookies are giving Kel Brook a much better chance of beating Golovkin than they're giving. Chris Ariola of beating Deontay Wilder. Some of you might be alarmed by that. Some of you probably feel that uh, Chris Ariola's got a much better chance than Kell Brook. And if that's the case, and if you're a gambling man, you might want to put some money on Chris Ariola since these odds are so, so long. So uh, anyway, yeah, good to hear that there's a, a drug testing related story in boxing where we're talking about clean fighters rather than fighters who have tested positive. So drop your comments in the comment section below, people. Let me know how you feel about everything I talked about in this video. It's your boy Hatman. I'm out.